What's up everybody, JJ Shankles, the Goat Toasters here. Today we're gonna to be talking about cable mods, specifically custom cables for the inside of your PC. But you could use a lot of these same techniques on any cables you wanna sleeve. This is gonna be a multi-part series. So this will be episode one. I wanted to go over a lot of the planning of it because that might be one of the most important parts of your custom cable experience is planning it out to make sure you know what you want, what colors you want, what design you're going for. If you're gonna go through all this effort of custom making your cables. One, you want to make sure you're safe and make sure you don't blow up any components inside your computer. And two, you want that all that effort to show through in the end product. You want people to say, hey, did you do that yourself? And not because it looks like it was hand done. You want it to look so good that there's no way you could have bought something that looks that good. So the first package showed up. I already did some planning on it. This is from Mainframe Custom Cables, at least here in the US. They are a great supplier of custom cable parts, all the things you'll need. I got a bunch of things, all the connectors you'll need, the some bundles of wires, different combs. I ordered a bunch of things to sort of try it out and see how they are. So we're going to go through those today. So this over here was a previous cable I'd done. This is a DaVinci Resolve macro pad I built. Um, I'm doing a separate video on this. It's all hand wired back here. So subscribe down below. So you don't miss that one. But this right here is a bunch of the things we got from mainframe cable. This is a bunch of the connectors. It's cool. This is one of the few sites I've seen that sells white custom cable plugs. So if you're going for a white build or a black build, whatever looks better in your system. So it's great to just, it just gives you this flexibility. A big question you have to answer is, do you want cables that go all the way from your power supply to the component? Or if you want to do only cable extensions, so you still use the cables from the power supply and then only the pretty part of the cable that you actually see, you make this custom sleeve extensions. Since I'm thinking these cables will go into a Lian Li O11 dynamic, I'll show a picture. And in that case, the power supply is hidden back behind. So I, so I think I'll only do cable extensions since you won't see the ugly part of the cable. And it is a little bit easier to do extensions. You're gonna need these metal plugs and I already got some crimpers. These are the crimpers I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Uh, and this is 16 gauge wire. So you wanna make sure you're, you wanna make sure the plugs you get work on the crimper and also work on the wire to make sure you're not mixing gauges here and then your crimpers will be too small or too large. It might damage the wire. These combs are also really unique that the entire cable runs through it. So these will only work if you're custom sleeving your cables because you have each cable you can run through there. But let's get on to this one. This is the most interesting part that I thought. I like that they throw in your black and white cable here because you can actually try it out. An important thing to note is certain sleeving is either a thick enough weave or is fairly transparent so you can see a difference between putting a white cable in there versus putting a black cable in there. It changes the look of the final product. So so depending on what you want the final look to be, it might be better to use a black wire or a white wire. So let's go through and see all these. It's also great to be able to see them in person to see the difference of. So this is lambent orange, very bright orange is a uh, it's a very solid yellow and then this shocker yellow is a, the neon bright extreme yellow on to the greens you got your acid green it's very fluorescent uv green mantis green and then nv this is nvidia's green next to it all very similar and in different lights they'll look slightly different this one we're getting onto gold. It's actually pretty good. They've got, it's got a little bit of shine to it. It's not a metallic gold, but it could look probably the best you're gonna get in a gold case. Looks like gold paint. This is a polar white and gold mixed in there. So it's got a little bit, not as flashy of gold with the white mixed in there. Looks really good. Moving on to some mixed one. Here's a like black and gold. All those go, go pretty well together. Gold, white and gold, black and gold. And then it can also be important of whether you put white sleeve in there. That doesn't really change it. it. Seems like the white doesn't change the color of the sleeve, but the black in some cases, the black looks makes it look darker. You can see a little bit of black shining through then that doesn't really change. The darker ones, the sleeving, with the darker sleeving, 
the cable, the wire color doesn't change it all that much. So now let's look at some of the grays together. And I do want to mention I am colorblind. So red, green, colorblind, I'm not great at. So luckily there aren't that many reds here. There are some greens and pinks that I'm not going to be the best judge of. But a lot of these colors I can see pretty well. Um, and I'm not extreme colorblindness. Uh, so here's black. Here's your black and element. 29 so that's how those look and here's your carbon fiber it is kind of a silvery gray and black uh, gunmetal gunmetal gray here carbon gray billet gray is slightly lighter than the gunmetal or carbon carbon gray and then billet gray then here's the silver that's much lighter than the grays And then here's a translucent. Translucent, I would bet, would be slightly different. Yeah, you can see the cable running through there. And then black definitely changes things. Some of these other ones, it does change it slightly. But these darker ones, you really can't tell. Whether it's white or black. Yeah, so transparent and silver, you might be able to tell a little bit, but the rest of these darker sleevings, you're really not gonna tell much of a difference. Oh, here's another black, black and silver, and then a white. I was interested to see if white, you can tell. Okay, so that one you can tell if it's a black cable in there versus a white cable. So if you're going for that all white look, you're gonna want the white wire in the white cable. This black and silver, can't tell much. Then onto some other colors. Here's army green, nebula red, black slash red. So it's a black and red mixed together. They call it nebula red. Then here's a regular red. Here's an element 29. And here's a pink color. Oh no, here's another one. There's another dark red to go in there in the mix. It's like your Twizzlers right here. Kind of wanted to stack them together to show you sort of what they all look like side-by-side side, real world example um, a big part of your cables is how shiny they are so with these plastic sleeving you will get a little bit of a shine and glow to them versus the paracord doesn't have that same shininess to it and stiffness um, definitely a different look you're going for but it's all whatever works for you specifically so now i wanted to test cabling i would guess this pink yeah, you can definitely see the difference there. Maybe a little bit. Can definitely tell a color change. There you can almost see it. With this black, I bet it's not going to change it. And on the green, maybe a little bit. White. That does lighten it up a little bit. Not much, a little bit lighter. So white makes it that one a little lighter. I can't tell. No. So the white mostly, it either makes it slightly lighter or doesn't change it. But the black does seem to change colors a bit more. So now onto the blues and purples. We've got electric blue, navy blue, aqua terra blue, here we've got a purple, just plain purple. Let's see what else we got. This is regular blue, and then an aqua blue. It's a very light blue shade there. So here's all our blue colors together. You can see those. And then I wanted to go through and test all these. No, I don't think that changes anything. No. No. Nope. Nope. No. So mostly white doesn't change these. Black, I can mix it a little darker, a little bit darker. Oh, 
And then, so with the blues, the, the wire color didn't really change it, the outcome. There's that. Those are all the colors of this Teleos. Teleios? Teleios? It was great ordering these components from Mainframe Custom. They did a great job. I like the, how their web, I like how their website's laid out. They really explain a lot of things for you. They sell ones and twos of things where you can buy pretty small batches. You can buy these all individually. You select with these in plugs, you select each one individually so you can do mixing and matching. Or if you need only one male Molex connector, you could order that. Instead of ordering a batch of them or a kit that has a bunch of different cables in it, you can order a single plug. Now that I've got most of these supplies and tools here, the next part of the decision is what color I want these cables to be. A great part of you creating your own custom cables is you can make it exactly what color you want. You could create whatever patterns you want or on a single plug, you could have multiple, you could go white, gold, black, whatever colors you wanted in one cable, you can get exactly what you want. Now this is only episode one. We're gonna do multiple episodes when we actually start making these cables. Now that I have all the physical samples, I need to go through and figure out exactly what I want my final cables to be, order the actual sleeving, because I only ordered a sample pack. This isn't enough sleeving for a full case. So I'll need to pick what colors I want and order the sleeving. And after I get all the sleeving in, we'll start on episode two, which will be actually making the cables. So make sure you subscribe down below and you so you won't miss the rest of this series. But that about wraps it up here. I'll see you in that next video. Go Toaster out.